it's really, really early. Um, I'm gonna pick up that surfboard because of my timing issues. This was the only time that I could manage to meet this person to pick up the surfboard, but it'll be worth it. It'll be worth it. I was just taking a nap in Irvine in a Lowe's parking lot, just catching up on uh, sleep because I woke up so early and I got to bed so late. I heard a crack and check this out. Somebody took a swing at my windshield. Now, I don't know what the deal is, like, they didn't knock or anything. Maybe they saw Champ and they thought they were being a hero. But it's pretty freaking cold today, so I don't know. It's like two, two chips. And this is the major one, you can tell. This one really splintered out. But I took another swing at it here, where it didn't work so well. Man, who does this shit? Like, I'm not gonna shit talk people or a neighborhood or anything, because I've had nothing but good experiences until now, really. This is the first time somebody's tried to screw up my vehicle, really. Actually, no, those guys last year who deflated my tires, but that was just silly. This one, it kind of pisses me off a little bit. Because uh, I didn't really want to buy a new windshield before I went up north because I knew I was going to put more chips in it once I go up north. Uh, now I'm not sure, you know, with a big splinter crack like that, I probably should replace it. That's annoying. Don't they know I'm broke? So, it's moments like this where I really struggle. Um, this is kind of like a big thing in my life where I'll get angry about something and then internalize it so much that it just ruins everything else I do for the next God knows how long. So this deal has happened. It's terrible, but you know, there's nothing I can do about it at this point. The person's long gone. Even by the time I got out of bed, they were long gone. You know, the security cameras, the, the Lowe's department, they're not going to give a crap that somebody is wrecking their cars in the lot. Uh, I'm just, you know, just gonna do me. Going to Baja, I don't think it's super critical to fix it just yet. And I'm out in like the cheapest place in the world to buy any windshields, which is kind of convenient. So I'll have to source that out maybe when I cross back or maybe in Baja, who knows, who knows. Uh, but for now, I'm just gonna like zen out, have a coffee, relax. You know, let this weight off my shoulders, this anger, this, this, you know, this upset. You know, let it go, because otherwise it will parasitically destroy the rest of my day. So, I'm going to work on this surfboard, I'm going to sip some coffee, zen out, you know, relax. It's okay. It's just a windshield. It's not the end of the world. On the plus side... This new coffee maker is working really well, and it compresses down pretty small. Pretty happy with it. It's like just a tiny bit smaller than my coffee filter, though. It's the only complaint, but honestly, so far it's my favorite coffee maker. Pretty good. This surfboard was really cheap, by the way. It's the only way I could kind of afford a surfboard right now, especially now that I'm buying windshields. Calm down. Um, <laughs> but as a result, I had to get a little epoxy kit and do some repairs on it because there are some cracks and some nicks and dings that I'll be fixing so that it's nice and watertight because I'm pretty sure that's important, but I don't really know for sure because I've never owned a surfboard, but I'm going to figure it out as I go. All right. my version of safety equipment to... It's all right.
All right, so the application is pretty quick. I only used uh, like one layer of fiberglass because there's just a really small crack. So I think I'm probably good. Uh, but I've got enough to do uh, several more coats if I need to or if I bash into any rocks while I'm traveling. So we're, not, we're all right. Um, I'm just gonna dispose of everything that stinks in here and let this thing cure for two hours, then do some sanding and uh, just generally wash it up, clean it up, make sure it's ready to go, and yeah, I gotta fashion a little leash. Uh, I might check the shops to see how much they are, but likely I'll probably just make my own. All right, surf's up. Okay, progress report. Did a lot of cleaning for the board here. Uh, it's still curing, there's still little bits here that are not wet, but just not hard yet. Okay, I think I screwed up. Maybe I didn't put enough hardening agent or stir it up enough. It's supposed to take two hours, it's been three, still not quite there yet. I'm going to uh, probably just leave this overnight and sand it in the morning. So anyway, I'm just going to uh, tuck it inside the van for now until I can find a solution for storing it on the back of the van. I'm going to strap it to the ladder, I think, because it fits perfectly there and it doesn't overhang above or below the van, so that'd be good. And uh, I'm gonna hit up, a, make drive a few miles and get to Oceanside so that tomorrow morning I get to wake up and maybe go surfing. That'd be rad. But I also need to do a lot of editing tonight because I need to edit everything I need to post while I'm in Baja so that you guys don't have to go without episodes and I can keep posting and all that. So, I'm not finding Wi-Fi in Baja. That's pretty much guaranteed. All right, let's do this. Hit the road. Is it always rush hour in Los Angeles? This is driving me crazy. <laughs> I waited like so long so to drive off and I thought, oh, you know, at night I'll be fine. Nope, rush hour, always rush hour. I pulled off the highway really quick because I noticed some smoke coming up from the back of the van, which is never a good sign. Um, I had a little panic attack, pulled over, and uh, there's a lot of oil dripping off the top of the engine. So I open it up. Sure enough, uh, something's leaking quite profusely, but the good news is I caught it really early. I haven't really dropped much in oil, and it looks like my oil pressure sending unit is broken and leaking. So I'm gonna try tightening it up, but uh, I have a good feeling that uh, that won't do the trick and I'll probably have to buy another one. So we'll see if I can rush order one for either today, tomorrow, or the day after, we'll see. And I have to be really careful with these sending units because uh, although the, the nut that you're tightening is very big, the bolt actually inside of it is quite weak. And if you break it off in there, well, that's part of the block. So good luck fixing that. Anyway, I'm uh, tediously, slowly, in, out, in, out, check it out, make sure it's snug, and then we'll test it again and see if the oil stops leaking. Well, I definitely don't need to tighten anymore. <laughs> it is the sending unit and it's leaking right out the top of it. I don't know what to do to stem that. Maybe I can uh, jam something in there and just hold it shut. <laughs> That's wild. Yeah, um, I think I'm only about uh, 10 minutes away so I can just drive over there and uh, um, I'm, only about, I'm only dropping about uh, half an ounce of oil every two miles so I think I'll make it. Yeah, I think, I think we'll be all right, I'll make it. All right, Anna, I'll see you soon. She sounds cute. <laughs> All right, the parts, uh, the parts store is the sensor I need. I'm gonna go swing by. I forgot to ask how much it was gonna cost. Well, it'll probably be a lot because uh, that's just my luck, <laughs> but at least they have it. So at least my van will be running and I won't be spewing its blood all over this road. And no more James Bond smoke screen out the back of my van. That's good. All right. I feel like a battlefield medic holding my best friend's wounds and blood in and being like, don't you die on me. Don't you die on me. We'll make it. It's really, it's like a scratch. 
you know, it just needs a couple stitches and we're fine. Drama queen. And I also found this one, but I don't know. That's two prongs. But it's uh, too that big. That looks huh? different to me. This one. And he has one. It's very different. That very one's different. closer to the same thing. Oh, that's weird. This one is closer? Yeah, yeah definitely. Do you want to take a look at our other ones? I mean, sure. just to kind of match it up. Alright, all one. All one. Looks good. Field medic has done the job. The engine is back and kicking at full speed. I'm gonna top up the oil a little bit and then I'm gonna do some editing because there's a coffee shop right here. I'm gonna chill out here for a bit and then maybe I'll make it down to Oceanside if the traffic ever stops. Oh my god, LA just calm down. Overall, very productive day. I made my way down to Oceanside. If you don't know, Oceanside's like a super van dweller friendly. I, th I think my LED is given out. Oh, don't explode. Anyway, um, today's today was a roller coaster, man. There's some ups, there's some downs, but I think what it comes down to is like how you deal with that yourself. All a lot of these things were amazing things that I had nothing to do with, you know, and other things were like terrible things that I couldn't really control. It's like you are given a scenario and now you have to decide how to act. How to move forward and this is something i have to continuously remind myself because i get caught up in it otherwise so you know i chose to be happy i chose to confront it with a smile on my face and no weight on my heart and i'm much better for it today i feel bad for even whining because honestly if you really think about it i had a lot of amazing things happen in the last 24 hours and i am super like my life is super blessed and I'm just, there's, like I shouldn't even complain. Plus this camping stop tonight's pretty sick.